Hello and welcome to a new episode of Let's Code MS-DOS. And today I want to show you two melting screen effects that you can do with the VGA graphics card. And I like those two effects because they do the screen melting via clever manipulation of some VGA registers and not by just massively drawing pixels or something. So this effect should actually work on pretty slow systems, probably down to a 286 or maybe even slower if you would uh, switch from C to assembly language, I guess. So the main program is more or less similar to what we used in the last episode. So we set our graphics mode, set a palette from the GIF file that we load, and then we copy the GIF image to the VGA screen. Then we have a main loop which runs until we hit the escape key and we can toggle the two effects by pressing the spacebar and we have two functions called draw melt and draw melt 2 and they have two different parameters max which I will talk about later and this parameter defines how the timing parameter for the animation is basically animated. Yeah, so um, first before I talk about the actual code, which we have to fill in here, let's have a look at how a CRT screen used to draw images on the screen. So nowadays we're using LCD screens which function in a completely different manner, but back in the MS-DOS days you would have these big picture tubes called CRTs and they would use an electron ray that uh, scans across the image and draws one line at a time onto a colored phosphor and this would produce the image. And when the electron beam raised from the left to the right it would turn off and then retrace to the left to the next scan line and this red arrow is called the horizontal retrace and this is going to be important because we can ask the VGA card if a horizontal retrace is currently happening and during that time we can reprogram the VGA register and then it will continue with the next scan line and so on and so on until 400 scan lines in our graphics mode have been drawn and we end up here at the bottom right of the image and then the electron beam will turn off again and go back to the top left corner and this takes a few microseconds or I'm not sure if it's milliseconds but probably microseconds and this is called the vertical retrace and in this time we also can do some stuff because nothing is drawn on the screen. For the first uh, melting effect we will have a look at uh, the maximum scanline register this is part of the CRT controller of the VGA card and the maximum scanline register has a couple of bits in it. Bit 7 is the scan doubling bit which we will ignore for now but it is always set to 1 in the regular mode 13 or mode X um, where you have 200 scan lines but the VGA card can only output 400 or more so this bit is set so the 200 scan lines are doubled to 400 scan lines but it will allow for compatibility with older graphics cards that used only 200 scan lines. Um, also in there are the line compare bit 9 and the start vert vertical blanking bit 9. We won't talk about those today, but we have to store them and restore them when manipulating the other parts of this register, which is the maximum scan line. And as you can read here, in text modes, we don't care about text modes, um, it does something different, but in graphics modes, a non-zero value in this field will cause each scan line to be repeated by the value of this field plus one. So if we write a zero into the first five bits, then each scan line will be shown exactly once. And if we put in a one, then every scan line will be doubled and so on and so on up to, well, we have um, five bits so we can put in a maximum value of 31, so 32 times is the maximum that every scan line can be repeated. And what will it look like? Let's say we put in the value 10, then our image, which all actually looked like this, um, will be stretched vertically. And we can actually animate this by um, putting in a 1 first, then a 2 and so on, and then 
basically the whole image will melt down the screen pretty quickly and yeah this will look hopefully pretty nicely so I would say we first try to code this because it's actually not that hard the difficult part is that we have to read out these three bits to not disturb them and put in our value here only so let's do that this is our draw melt function and basically we will need two byte values one i will call original or oric and one will be called um, maximum scanline msl for short first of all to make everything run a bit slower we will wait for the vertical retrace this function we have been using quite a while in the uh, last episodes and I will actually wait for two retraces so that we get roughly 30 frames per second or 36 frames per second on the 72 Hertz display of the VGA card and this will make it a bit slower not as flickery and then we will need to read out the uh, original data of the um, maximum scanline register so first of all we tell the uh, CRTC index port of the VGA card um, to select the maximum scanline register by writing to the specific port and then we will read the original value that we have found in there on the uh, CRTC data port and a quick reminder I have created the um, VGA header file here which defines nice constants for all of these things so the CRTC index register or the, the CRTC index port is um, hexadecimal 3d4 and the um, data port is 3d5 uh, so we don't have to memorize these numeric constants but we can just use the words instead and the CRTC registers are defined here the maximum scanline register is number nine hexadecimal as you can see here and that's something that you can just look up on the uh, Ostever VGA uh, documentation it says here maximum scanline register is nine hexadecimal so that's where I get these numbers from and you can also look up the, the port numbers there but you don't have to do that because the code will be on github and linked in the video description so you can just work with that so now we have the original value we can actually um, set the register with a new value. So our new maximum scanline value is um, the original value. And then we select the upper three bits, which is hexadecimal 0xe0. So this equates to binary 111 but you can't write that in, in this old-fashioned C dialect, so we have to write 0x e0 instead. And then we will OR that with the lower 5 bit that we set from the uh, timing constant that we get here. So this will count up to 31 and then back to 0. And um, to select the lower 5 bits, because someone could put in garbage values here and overwrite the upper 3 bits, we mask it to the lower five bits only so this is basically binary 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. but again we can't write that so we write 0x1f okay this gives us the new value and we can again tell the vga card to please select the maximum scanline register and then we can write this value to the crtc data register and that's uh, more or less the whole effect so um, down here in the um, main loop we basically increment the time timer variable by one or minus one depending on which direction the animation is running if it's one we increment so we count one two three and so on up to the maximum value which is 31 and then we reverse the direction and we'll count down again to zero and of course correct because we overshot by one so this should actually produce already a nice result hopefully 
image is loading and there we have it the screen is melting down and up in a rubbery fashion and this is done by just manipulating the VGA registers and not copying one single bit of memory so it's highly efficient doing this in software by pushing bytes and pixels would only probably be possible on rather fast machines with a fast local bus and stuff like that. So yeah, um, while this uh, effect is already pretty funny and I think you can probably tweak it a bit more to look even more cool, we can do even better, I think. Um, let's have a look at the second effect. So while we are running over the screen like this, we can actually stop at some point and manipulate the VGA registers mid-screen. And the register that we want to manipulate is the so-called offset register. And there's a long, long, long explanation what it does and what the formula for this thing is. But long story short, every time we finish a scan line, the current address that the VGA is rendering from will be incremented by the value that is in the offset register. That means um, if I have 320 pixels in this direction, it, the, the current address will basically be incremented by 320 pixels so that I get the next line of the picture and so on and so on. But what we can actually do now is after we counted like 5 or 10 or 50 scan lines, we can actually say stop. Now we change the offset register and tell it to go 0 pixels for the next scan line. So it will actually stay on this same scan line. And what happens then is that for the rest of the screen build up, it will render the same line over and over again and it will look like this. And we can actually animate this transition and it will look quite nice and uh, interesting effect which also is mm, very expensive to do if you want to do it by copying memory around. And we can again do this only by um, manipulating the registers. And at the end of the screen we will reset the offset register to its original value so that we can begin with the normal image at the top of the next screen. So let's also try this. Um, we will have a for loop, so we need some kind of counter variable, which we call i. And we will also need um, the value, the original value of the line offset register, which I will call lo for line offset. And then, because we're counting scan lines, we don't want to be disturbed by anything. Um, if someone like a hard disk interrupt or time interrupt will fire, um, we might miss the actual end of one of the scan lines because the IBM PC and VGA don't have interrupt signaling the scan lines. Uh, actually, much older or much simpler devices like the C64 or the Amiga, they have interrupts signifying when a scan line ends, which is very useful. We don't have that, so we need to take care that we actually look at the bits that when they are flipping, which signals that uh, a scan line is ending. So what we are doing is we disable all interrupts and at the end we have to enable them again or else the program will crash if there are no more interrupts possible. And um, the first thing that we are doing is to store the original value of the line offset register. So we tell again the CRTC on its index port that we want the line offset register for the next operation and we read the original value of that thing from the CRTC data port. Now we have the original value. We can actually uh, manipulate um, the value of the offset register, but not just like that. First of all, we will need to make sure that um, we are at the top of the current image. It might happen that we are currently inside the vertical retrace. So basically, it could be that we are inside of this orange arrow. And we will wait until this orange arrow is finished and we are actually at the top of the screen here. And the way we can do this is just by um, doing a, wait, just by doing a little while loop. And we are looking at the, uh, input status register of the VGA card 
and uh, we can look at the vertical retrace bit there and as long as this is a1 we will just wait and as soon as this bit flips to zero which signals okay we are done a new image is starting this while loop will exit and we can actually do our work and what we're going to do here is we will count um, up to t which is the animation parameter here um, so we will take our iteration variable zero from zero to t and just count the uh, the scan lines that are passing and how do we do this it's very similar to the way we will um, wait for a vertical refresh but instead of that we also have a bit signifying that there's a horizontal retrace happening and first of all we will wait until uh, the current horizontal retrace is being is done so um, this should be fine like this I think um, and then we will wait until the scan line is actually done so the first while loop will run as long as the horizontal retrace bit is set to one and the second one um, no the other way around um, it will run on uh, as long as it's one and the second one will run as long as it's zero and at the end of the second one we are sure that one of the scan lines is finished we can do this t times and then we have skipped the first t uh, scan lines and are somewhere in the middle of the of the picture and now we can actually reprogram the uh, scan line uh, line offset register so what we're doing is we tell the VGA card again please give us the line offset register and then we say okay the new value for the line offset register is zero we are now going to render the same line over and over again okay this we will do until we are at the end of the image so we need to again look very carefully at the vertical retrace bit but this time we are saying okay as long as we are not in a vertical retrace we are still drawing the image so we'll wait until the image has finished drawing after this while loop we are at the bottom of the screen down here and now we can reset the line offset register to its original value so that when the orange arrow is done we again render a normal image so we can again take uh, these three lines and there's actually a typo and instead of the zero we write the original value that we stored way up here and we can format it a little bit nicer so that you can actually see what's going on the github um, code will be also slightly commented so that you can get more of this so um, that should do the trick hopefully I'm not sure if I mistyped anything five errors yes we probably forgot something there's a semicolon missing and there's more um, what did we do wrong here okay there's one too many braces one too many brace um, I think one to open three open to open okay there's also too many of those here and I think this should do the trick yes zero warning zero errors and first you will see our old effect and with the space key we can switch to the second effect and there you have it in the middle of the screen going to the bottom we will reset the line of set register to zero and get this very nice effect which is very expensive to achieve on an old machine if you want to do that by just copying pixels so this is actually pretty neat i think um yeah this is already all there is to the two screen melting effects and you can use it for transitioning between screens or something like that you can also probably make it a bit faster by um, incrementing the t uh, parameter slightly different ways 
Yeah, and but it's definitely very timing critical. So if you want to combine this with music and other stuff, you need to make sure that there's still enough time to calculate all the mixing and other things. Doing it like this is uh, yeah pretty easy, but combining it with other effects and music is probably a bit more hard. But I think this is it for today. Um, you can download the code and play around with it. Leave a comment, share, like and subscribe as usual. And if you want to, you can also support me on Patreon or Ko-Fi. And if you don't, uh, doesn't matter. Just leave a comment and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice evening.